Okay, we're back out in the garage with the Rat Rod mini bike. Oh, did I miss this thing? Um, as you guys know, when we last left off, it was bearing saga again. If you remember, I put those cheap Palmer Freight bearings in there just so we can go to the mini bike race. And I can look like a doofus. These are pretty much what was in there. Stamp steel, garbage. Finally, real steel, hard and race, sealed. Right from China. Woo, they must be good, they're imported. Bearings. But these are these are actually the real deal. I mean, let's just compare them right off the bat. The same width. But you can see how much more is a race. And instead of just being a piece of tin with some tiny little balls in it, these you can actually see the size of the balls. They're gonna be bigger than that black area, the seal that's covering up the cage. So I got four of these bad boys. Here's the best part. Four of these bad boys shipped was 12 bucks. For me to buy those two tires on sale and pay tax was almost $12. So, I'm gonna start, whoop, my CD's skipping. I'm gonna start by putting these in the front. Even though the front ones are holding up still, so they had a bit of play in there, which could be on the axle. I'm gonna start by putting them in the front. See how it works out. Okie dokie. Well, I pressed out the bearings that were in the front. There was a cheap Harbor Freight one I threw in there. Still one piece. The other one that was in there, definitely heavier, says Freeway, Cleveland, Ohio, US, USF. So, I don't know if there's a good bearing or a bad bearing. It just looks. Look how thin it is, look how thick it is. It looks like it's a real bearing. I'm gonna hold on to that. These hubs have a little collar in there. I already tapped in the other side. So, this one should go right in. There is no inside and outside. I'll tell you one thing though, in a lot of modern day cars with ABS, in the axle, or on the hub, there used to be a rotor. Okay, had little slots in it, and that's how it knew how fast the wheel was turning. It was just an on and off magnetic pulse. Now what they're doing is they're putting the magnets in this seal right here. So if you look at the bearing quick, it looks the same on both sides. If you press it in backwards, you don't get the ABS function. We found that out the hard way at work. So. There you go. Actual seal installer. Okay, I'm not going to want to do this with one hand. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put you guys anywhere where you can see. Can you see that? Yeah, I guess you can. just on the shaft itself on the ball. Oh yeah. We have victory in our sights. I think while it's off, I should patch the tire. That's a that's a project for another day. So I'm gonna slip this thing on real quick. It only takes me two seconds to take it off. Okay, we got that on. Originally I used this single spacer here. I stepped down to another one. This space is uh, concaved. So the outer part of the space it does not rub on the bearing. It's just touching the inner race. So this is nice. I can't even 
That's more of the tire wiggling. Oh, yeah. Nice and round. I did that on both sides. That should make it handle a little better when I go around the turns with all the, that floppiness. I got a stiff in this spring. I got another spring for it. That's a valve spring. I got an actual exhaust spring. <laughs> okay, let's conquer the back. Let's conquer the back. Nice tank, Ruben. How nice that tank is, Ruben. Let me just add to that. I didn't say that was a nice tank because I'm teasing Ruben. I said that's a nice tank because I'm going to wind up giving that tank to Ruben. That's why I said it. So, just so you guys know.